Hello there, Leo, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing your weekly tarot reading. This is good, January 24th until the 30th. So we'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create, I really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. Okay, now, <laughs> Leo, let's see. Um, you've had your January readings have really kind of indicated about love coming back in or, um, or a new love. And it's when you kind of step into this energy of being really positive about things, taking a look at that glass that, you know, is it half empty or is it half full? So we're going to see how this um, plays in this last week of January. So let's see what we have. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. Yeah, it's this energy of, um, you know, and I've seen this in a lot of the readings lately, this energy of, you know, it's the, the perspective that we have about a situation or the perspective about where we're going with something, right? It's kind of like if we can believe it, then we can bring it into reality. And it's about believing in yourself, believing that you can do it. So let's see what we have here, the healing light. I really like that energy. What's on the bottom here? Travel. So some of you might be traveling, you might be, um, or somebody could be maybe traveling towards you. So let's see what we have here. Believe in yourself. So, okay. Spirit has your back. I really have a sense that some of you are uh, starting a new project, a new business, maybe going in a new direction with your career. And it's about, this is kind of, you know, I know this is a squirrel and he's standing on an acorn. But when I keep looking at it, it's like that fool energy, the fool standing on the cliff, getting ready to jump off. It's that same energy of, okay, I can do this because I know spirit has my back. I know that when I jump off this acorn, <laughs> when I jump on this acorn, that the universe will catch me. I'm going to be okay. Really interesting. Okay, so let's look at the tarot. This is your present energy, chariot. Okay, what else can we say? This is an energy of, yes, I'm going for it. I know I'm going to be victorious. Yeah, this energy of, you know, moving forward quickly, not wanting to wait. Ready, ready, ready. Okay, but here's your obstacle, two swords. <laughs> you're having this, you're having that, um, that you're having, you want to move forward, but you don't know what direction. You want to jump off the acorn, but you don't know which way. Yeah, it's this energy of, uh, oh, seven of swords, holding yourself back. Um, holding yourself back. Huh. So we have the justice and the knight of swords. You could be dealing with a Libra, but you don't have to be. It's this energy of trying to find some balance. It's as if you want to, the message um, I'm getting is you want to make sure you can land on your feet. You know, have that balance of landing on your feet. It's almost as if you don't want to take this leap of faith unless you know for sure that you're going to land on your feet. Yeah, eight of swords. You're just kind of, um, this is the self, you know, doubt card. Feeling like you're, you're trapped feeling like you're not really sure, but the angel in this cage can stand up and, and come out of this cage. The cage top is open. There is nothing holding this angel back except, you know, the angel's own fear of standing up and leaving the cage. It's this energy of wanting to stay safe, you know, um, of wanting assurance that something is going to work. Hierophant, Four of Pentacles, the Hermit. Wow, lots of spiritual wisdom there. With the Hierophant, it could have something to do with a long-term commitment like marriage. 
It could have to do with, you know, some of you may be thinking about maybe going back to school or starting your own business that you hope can grow into something. But with the four of pentacles, you're holding back. You're holding back because I feel like it's finances, especially with the Hierophant there. It's this energy of, I don't know if I'm going to have enough and fill in the blank, enough money, enough energy, enough support, enough customers, whatever it is, you're a feeling of, I'm not sure I have enough, whether you have it or whether it will be provided if you jump off the acorn. It's about really stepping into that energy of having blind faith <laughs> because the two of swords um, is always, you know, has in the traditional tarot, the blindfold on, but here she has the hat pulled down over her eyes. It's this energy of, I don't want to have blind faith. <laughs> I want to know. Yeah. So let's see what the outcome is. Knight of Wands, taking action. Good. You just have to have, you have to find this faith in yourself, faith in the universe. You have to find the self-confidence to step out of your own doubts and take this action. Yeah, and then you'll see the different options. Some of you may feel like uh, there's only two options, right? I, I can either go to the left or to the right. I can jump off the acorn to the front or to the back. That's it. You may feel like you only have two options. Oh, they're saying to me, you, I only have two options, failure or success. Wow, that's kind of an interesting thing because what they're also saying is that you can manifest what it is that you truly want. But in order to manifest it, you have to believe it. If you really felt like there was only the option of failure or success, then I think the next question I would ask you, is there anything in the past that you tried, um, you know, to start or you may have, you know, tried for a job or a relationship, you know, and it didn't, it, it, you know, it didn't ever take off or it ended, you know, whatever, like it was a disappointment and then, was there anything good that came out of that disappointment? Like, I'm not saying the disappointment wasn't painful, but what was the silver lining to that? You know, um, I remember once I, I didn't get a job that I really, really wanted, right? I didn't get it. And I was really heartbroken. I was really, you know, like, oh my goodness. You know, I thought... I thought was I was a shoe and I thought, you know, I could do that. And then when I didn't get it on down the line, it was a good thing because there was a different opportunity that came onto my path that actually was much better. It was a much better path for me. And I feel like that is perhaps what you may need to start thinking is that I believe in myself. I know that this is going to work. And even if it doesn't work out exactly the way that I want it to work out, I know that there are good things that will come from taking this leap. Because if you don't take the leap, what are you going to do? You're going to stay where you are, right? Oh my goodness. I think some of you are trying to manifest love. Yeah, and this is what you're worried about. You're worried about not having this love. You know, it's kind of like, you know, I feel like sometimes, oh my goodness, look at what's on the bottom, lovers. Um, I feel sometimes that when I feel this energy of, oh, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to, um, you know, if this is about love, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get involved with that person, you know, then what, you know, what happens, you know, and you start going down through the, all those what ifs, right? That is because we're trying to prevent ourselves from being hurt, which, you know, is something that we do. I feel like you are, like you're trying to stay safe. Like you want to move forward. You have this energy. This is your chariot. I want to move forward, and yet at the same time, I'm not really sure because you have this Eight of Swords here. You know, it's your fear of moving forward, and perhaps it's about taking a look at, you know, okay, so what if I do go down this path, and what if I am disappointed? It doesn't turn out exactly. 
the way I, I wanted it to. What lessons, what experiences might I have still on this path that are valuable to me, right? Uh, adventures with this person or this business or whatever, like looking at what you will gain by taking this path instead of, you know, what will you lose? What might you lose? Um, okay, so let's see. Oh, yep. It is about love. <laughs> Four of Cups. Yeah, you're just, you're kind of sitting back. You're kind of wondering. You know, we have the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Wands. And then the Two of Wands. See, it's this energy of having to choose. You want to move forward. There's something that you want to move forward in. It could be that you just want to move forward in your life. Like you've been kind of stuck. You're comfortable. You're like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to be the squirrel and start going out. Squirrels are so adventurous, right? I mean, Maggie loves chasing squirrels. So it's kind of like, you know, that energy of I want to get out there. I want to, I want to start living again, right? And then it's as if somebody comes in and offers a little love and you're kind of like, well, I don't know. I have to think about it. And with the Queen of Wands here, this is about having a lot of self-confidence. The Queen of Wands has a lot of confidence. You know, she's very um, confident in herself and what she creates. You know, she's business savvy. She, you know, walks into a room and everybody wants to be with her, right? It could be that this person, you know, gender doesn't matter. But I, I think there's a couple of scenarios. This person could be somewhat of a queen of wands, somebody that's really confident, right, in who they are. And you may be a little bit, you know, they're coming in, offering love, um, offering their cup of love, asking you out or whatever that might be. And you're kind of like, oh, I got to think about this because maybe you're concerned. Well, this person is so attractive, so confident, like, you know. I'm not sure I'm a good match for this person, right? This person might betray me down the road because they're so attractive, right? Everybody wants to be with the Queen of Wands. Well, yeah, well, I'm not really sure I want to be with somebody like that. That's what's going through your head, right? Now, if you're not relating to that, it could be that, you know, you are... You are just concerned, and once again, gender doesn't matter. It's the energy of this Queen of Wands. You are kind of in this energy of being really super confident about who you are, right? And somebody, there may be even somebody that you are wanting to um, offer love to, right? And it's kind of like, well, yeah, I don't know. Because, you know, the Queen of Wands is happy being by herself. She does not need anybody with her. You might be feeling, well, I'm really good here, you know? And if somebody is offering you love or you want to offer them, you're kind of like, oh, uh, I don't know. I got my life going really well here. You know, nah, I'll wait another six months. It's this energy of, I'm not really sure I want to, <laughs> to get involved. So let's see what this Two of Swords is. And I really feel like it's coming out of that energy of, I'm just not really sure. You know, uh, we're going to clarify this Eight of Swords, what it is that you're worried about. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're working on your career, on your pentacles, you know, you're you're looking at this situation. You're kind of like, well, I don't know if I really want to put any time or energy into this. I think, you know, if I go in this new direction, I'm going to, you know, if I start a new relationship, I'm going to have to, you know, put time and energy into this. I'm not really sure. You know, I only have so much time and energy. Maybe I just want to work on my pentacles over here. Um... And then with the high priestess, it's like you're blocking your intuition because I think your intuition is telling you to believe in yourself and that you can have your pentacles and love also. It's kind of like, you know, you can have it all. 
And it's kind of like that all or, or nothing kind of interesting energy that I have here. Um, yeah, the, uh, the, um, they're drawing me back to this Queen of Wands energy. Yeah, this, it's a interesting, I, I, I feel like you almost have to sit with it for a minute. They're showing me the healing light. Like there's something that you may need to heal here. Like you've done a lot of work on this, Leo. So it's, it's this energy of having to, to recognize, you know, the Queen of Wands, honestly, is happy by herself. And once again, gender doesn't matter. But are you happy with who you are right now? And you're, you're kind of like wondering, do I really want love? Because it's almost like if I bring love in, is it going to screw up everything that I have created here? You know, your, your pentacles, your career, whatever this is, may take a lot of time. And you're just kind of like, yeah, I just don't know if I have the time, the energy to go on this new path. And you're not listening to your intuition because it's almost like, it's almost like you don't want to hear what <laughs> your intuition has to say. But if you're relating to that, like you're kind of like, well, I don't know if I have time or the energy to, to start a romantic relationship. Um, then I think the question is, do you really not or is it that you're using that as a, some type of an excuse to not go on that path, right? And then if you are using it as an excuse, why? What is it that you are... Because we have the self-confidence here. What is it that you're afraid of if you go on to this path? Yeah, five of swords, strength. Woo, devil. Three of cups. Emperor, Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Hierophant. Wow. Okay. I feel like what you're trying to do is you're trying to keep yourself safe. So, Leo, I think in the past, some of you may have had a relationship that may have had some toxicity to it that was really hard to pull yourself away from, right? So it could have been, you know, uh, a narcissistic type of energy. It could have been, you know, codependent. There could have been something. And it took a lot of strength for you to pull yourself away from this. And I feel like that is why you're kind of almost staying in this cage. It's kind of like, well, if I'm in this cage and I'm in this cage by myself, notice the angel's in there by himself, right? Or herself. Um, the angel is by um, himself, and if he, you know, if the angel stays in there by themselves, then they can't be hurt by a toxic codependent relationship ever again. But it's, you know, these regrets that you have, this internal struggle with yourself. Um, I think this here is here. The healing light because your angels want you to know your spirit guides that you have healed from this situation you've learned those lessons and so it's you know this may even be coming in so that you can i don't think you ought to say no to this immediately if you get into it and you start seeing red flags then you can say no because i feel like i feel almost as if this person is coming onto your path to help you have a little bit more confidence in yourself that you can um, trust yourself to choose a good, solid, loving, caring partner. Because I feel like this past energy is so strong. You're just, it's almost as if you don't trust yourself to make a good decision. Um in love and the the person that you were with could have been in third you know could have been a third party situation you didn't realize it 
you know, you're just kind of could have been very controlling. Like you see this now, whereas when you were in this type of situation before, you didn't see it. Your eyes have been opened, right? And now that they're opened, now that you've done the healing, you are ready for love again. Um, and it's, it's almost like, okay, all love partners are not like this person. Yeah, Knight of Wands, you're trying to block. Okay, Ten of Wands, putting down the burdens of the past. Okay, here's the thing. I think in the past, you were attracting Knight of Wands energy, okay? And I know your Wands energy too, but Knight of Wands is here today, gone tomorrow, right? In the past, you know, you were attracting Knights, but you're here as a Queen. <coughs> Excuse me. And gender doesn't matter, okay? But you're a queen. You were attracting in knights. Knights aren't as good, right? <laughs> They're a lower level than the queen. And I feel like you're just concerned that, you know, this person coming in is a knight. If this person is a knight, you are going to be able to see it, okay? You don't have to block it. You're going to, you have built healthy boundaries with the nine of wands, you know, you have built healthy boundaries. You see things now, you know, we had the queen, um, the queen here too, uh, the queen of swords. So you're stepping into a new world. You're putting down the burdens of, you know, relationships or just people coming in and going out, you know, taking what they want. The nine of wands, you know, here today, gone tomorrow you know, gets what he wants and then moves on, right? To the next conquest. You're leaving that type of energy. You're ending it with the world here. You're putting down the burdens of what this was in the past. You see it now. And I think that that is the message that, um, you know, is really coming out. You are stepping into your own strength. You are stepping into your own power because the strength card is your card, Leo. You're stepping into your own power. You can recognize now toxic people, toxic situations. You know, you're, you can see the red flags, whereas before you couldn't. So it's not just believing in yourself. It's trusting in your intuition. It's trusting your gut. Oh, that's so interesting because, you know, squirrels, oh, my angels are funny. You know, uh, the squirrel is collecting nuts, right? And it's, they're laughing, you know. I said, trusting your gut, like the squirrel. Squirrel knows where the nuts are. They <laughs> uses their gut instincts to find the nuts. <laughs> interesting. Polish your mirror for perfect clarity. Yes. It's about stepping into your power, realizing that, you know, you, you're, you're going to recognize this. I feel like you're just, you're a little bit shy about jumping back into love because it's kind of like, oh my gosh, it was so bad before. I, you know, my, <laughs> my, um, my intuition must be off, way off. But if you think about it, if you stay in your intuition, you're blocking your intuition. It's almost as if, you're kind of like, um, yeah, it doesn't work. My intuition doesn't work. There's just no way. It, it allowed me to get caught up in that thing, right? And it's like, no, your intuition is working. You just kind of unplugged it. <laughs> you were like, your intuition was probably saying something to you. And you were like, no, I don't want to hear that. Okay, what else could this mean? This is your soul truth card. There are always multiple ways to look at every situation. Oh my gosh. And we have seven of cups on the bottom. You know, all the different options. Our first reaction is usually rooted in our fears and limiting beliefs. Look at a situation today by stepping outside of the trigger and ask, what else could this mean? Today's soul action. Is there something your soul is calling you to learn in this moment? Or is there a pattern that is ready to be broken? Walk in the other person's shoes and see it from their perspective. If it doesn't involve someone else, ask yourself, how is life happening for me right now? 
And you know, I think that that is a sometimes a good lesson for us to learn. You know, if you do have a Knight of Wands coming in, you know, recognizing, oh, I see that for what it is, but not jumping to that conclusion right off the bat, right? It's kind of like, okay, let me give this person a chance. If I start seeing some of those toxic behaviors, right? Okay, then I'll move on. But it's about kind of like giving people a chance, giving your intuition a chance, giving yourself a chance, believing in yourself, believing in your intuition, believing in your gut that you will be able to navigate love again. Well, Leo, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I do uh, wish you much love and light in this situation and in all your situations. If you did enjoy the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider liking or subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.